Hi, my name is Dan. Welcome to my channel. This is an acoustic worship guitar tutorial for the song Yahweh. The other title is No One. This is by Chris Tomlin, Chris Brown, Jason Ingram, and Stephen Furtick from Elevation Worship. I'm going to base this tutorial off of the recording by Chris Tomlin. The song is at 137 beats per minute at 4-4 time. Now Chris does the song in the key of B-flat. I'm going to show you how to play the song using G-shaped chords and a capo. So I'm going to capo on the second fret, and when I play a, a G chord, it's going to come out in the key of A. And so if you want to match the recording, just capo 3. For the intro of the song, there's not actually an acoustic guitar present in the introduction. If you want to, you can just kind of hang out on a G chord when they're doing those little A, A. You just kind of hang out on a G chord. If you want to, you can get some rhythm going. A, A. But like I said, there's not really anything on the recording. For verse 1 and then later on on verse 2 of the song, you're going to follow the following strum pattern. You're going to have a heavy emphasis on beats 1, the and after 2, and beat 4. So it's going to be like this. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... I'm trying to put a heavy emphasis, kind of exaggerating, on the ones that you need to emphasize. So it's beat 1, the and after 2, and then beat 4. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... When you're playing a G chord, which is the only thing they actually do on the recording, they stay on a G chord almost the entire verse. I'm going to palm mute right along the bridge here with my uh, strumming hand to kind of get my G chord to really mute. I don't want to go too far because then I have no chord ringing out at all. And I don't want to be completely off the uh, bridge because then I just have a regular chord. But I want to kind of slightly palm mute this and put a heavy emphasis on beat one, the and after two, and then beat four. So it'll sound like this. One and two. And so if you keep that in mind for no matter what chord you're playing on the verses, just keep that kind of rhythm going. Now, like I say on the recording, they just stay on a G chord the entire time, except for the third line, they go to an E minor for a little bit and then come back to a G. So here is what is on the recording. Yahweh, Yahweh. For me, when I do this song, I'm probably going to switch and do the G, the, the D, and the C that's actually, that the rest of the band is actually playing. And so it'll sound like this. You're going to do six beats on a G. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Switch to a D, do seven, eight, and then go to a C and do eight beats on that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But keep that rhythm in mind. So it's going to sound like this. Now that's not what's on the recording, but that's probably what I will play with a band. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So here is what that would sound like if you're changing chords. So here's a G. Yahweh. D. Yahweh. That's a C. G. Holy is your name. And D. I don't want to take it in vain. That was a C. And then E minor. Yahweh. And then D. C. Yahweh. And go to a G. A holy For the chorus of the song, you're going to have some big ring out chords. And what I mean by that is you're going to be strumming some chords and then just letting them ring out for a while. 
the very first chord of the line, you're going to do a triple strum. So you're going to go down, up, down. And I'm on a G chord right now. And you're just going to do it really fast. It's going to be like this. But that's down, up, down. So it sounds like this. There will be no other God. D over F sharp, you're just going to do a single strum. Before you, G over C, or just a C chord is what I call it. It has the B string ringing and makes it the G over C. And then a double or triple strum again. There will be no other God before you. Then you go to E minor with a triple strum. There is no one above you, D over F sharp. No one beside you, G over B, and nobody like you, C. There will be no other God before you. No one. You want to mute right there? No one, no one. And then you go back into a G chord. So here is the entire chorus. There will be no other God before you. There will be no other God before you. There is no above you, no one beside you, and nobody like you. There will be no other God before you. No one, no one, no one. And then you go into the turn of the song. For the turn of the song, first of all, you want to make sure that you have at least two picks or have an extra pick on hand because the strum pattern is so fast at 137 beats per minute that you're probably going to lose one of these and you're going to need to have a backup. The strum pattern is as follows. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. You want to put a heavy emphasis on beat one and beat three. So it's down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Let's slowly bring this speed up to about 137 beats per minute, and then you'll know what I'm talking about, like how fast this is. So it's down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. One, two, three. So you can see that the strum pattern gets really, really fast. Here is what it sounds like on a G chord. On beat three, I'm gonna put an emphasis on the bottom strings. So it's gonna sound like this. One, two, Now on the recording, they just stay on a G chord, at least the acoustic guitar does, but the rest of the band is changing chords, so if you want to, you can play along with that. And I'm, that's what I will probably do. I'll probably play the G for six uh, counts, and then do the D for two counts, and then the C for eight counts. So it'll sound like this. Like I say, I'm putting a heavy emphasis on beat one and beat three, and on beat three, I'm actually trying to strum maybe either more of a full chord or just the bottom strings. So it's. But it's really fast. It's actually really fun to play, but it is fast and it will wear you out probably. So after the turn of the song, you go back into the verse, you do another chorus, and then you do another turn. And I'm just going to play those exactly the same way that I played the first ones. For the bridge of the song, there's actually four bridges. And on the recording, the acoustic guitar does not come back in until halfway through bridge number three. And they come in with that really fast strum pattern that we did on the turn, which sounds like this. And they're just going to stay on a G chord the entire time once that happens. So let me show you actually what I would do for this section of the song. So for bridge number one, I'll probably just do some big, huge G chord ring outs. Who else can lead us, lead us to freedom? And then do the next line. And who else can heal all our sins and diseases? And for bridge number two, I'm going to go into the 
the, the pattern that I did on the verses, just some really light down strums, and I'm going to do a G and then a D and then a C. So here's bridge number two. Who else can walk, walk on the water? Who else can answer, answer by fire? So that was just G and then D and then C. And then for bridge number three of the song, I'm probably going to do the exact same thing, just maybe open up the strums a little bit. And on this line, this is where on the recording it comes back in with the G chord. But I'm just going to go ahead and change chords. So I'm going to do the G and then the D and then the C. So here's the second line of the third bridge. of the song. So for the last chorus of the song, I'm going to approach it with the triple strum again. There will be no other, and then single strums, God before you. Do that again. There will be no other God before you. And then go to E minor with the triple strum. There is no one above you, D over F sharp. No one beside you, G over B. And nobody like you, C. Do that two more times. There is no one above you, and no one beside you, and nobody like you. Do that one more time. There is no one above you, no one beside you, and nobody like you. And then go to G. There will be no other God before you. No one. And then mute right there. No one. No one. After that last chorus, you're going to do a series of post choruses, and you're going to do the really fast strum pattern that we did for the turns. And it's going to be just a G chord on the recording, but for me, I'm going to do a G and then a D and then a C. So it would sound like this. song ends. So that's the song Yahweh by Chris Tomlin. The other title again is No One. Um, if you want to stay up to date on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And if this is something that was helpful to you, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below and have a great day.